In this video, I will be playing Outlast from the very beginning of the game, and the rule is I am not allowed to jump. Well hang on, that was a bit of a stupid idea, so it's already a dumb video because we already have to climb the scaffolding and pretty much jump at the very beginning of the game. So let's make this a little bit more interesting. Instead of not allowed to jump, how about no full jumps? Now I know what you're thinking, hear me out and let me explain. This is a jump. Miles accelerates up, then descends down. Whilst airborne or on the ground, Miles does not get interrupted animations such as to climb. If he does, it's not a full jump because his stance changes at the end of his jump. But a full jump means a jump without any interruptions whatsoever. From the moment he starts to jump to the moment he lands, he isn't interfered. Okay, now that's all cleared. Let's get back to the video and see just how far we can go in Outlast without those full jumps. I will stop the video if I need to explain complicated things that are going on. All of this bit is just back and forth and it's really really boring to watch so I'm going to fast forward it. This is just repeat backtracking. There are a few mantle climbs but other than that they're not fully jumps so really boring once again. Really easy beginning, now this is where it gets interesting because we're about to go in the prison and let's see how we cope without doing full jumps now. Night vision on, not a full jump. That's a drop through the gap. I did not press the jump button at all, so it doesn't classify as a fully jump. Nothing changes with this Chris Walker encounter, everything goes the same. We do not need to jump and we can just rush through it like we normally do. This is a jump right here, but like I said earlier, his animation was interfered therefore it wasn't a fully jump so for the bit where we have to twist the valves and Chris Walker is chasing us once again nothing changes 
I just do simple mantles like that and no jumps. Pretty impressive how far we made it. Let's see if we can go any further. This is the old strat where jumping is allowed. We jump again and again in the water so that Miles' speed increases and we can overtake Chris Walker like that. However, for the sake of this challenge, jumping is not allowed so we have to walk really slowly in the water and we have to hide behind these boxes and we'll even stand on top of one. Once again, that's not a fully jump. We then wait for Chris Walker to walk past us so we can carry on walking very slowly in the water uh, for this bit let him know where you are so that you can make him take the long way around walk through the water and you should escape him like that then after that it's just running around and this bit is really boring so let me fast forward it's really easy to mess up on that bit so I made sure I took my time and did a climb instead of a jump. Okay, so we actually made it all the way to Traeger, and let's see just how far we can go. Unlike Chris Walker, uh, Dr. Traeger does not interfere with our challenge one bit. We can continue as normal, so let me just fast forward this. Not very important this bit, just like the water jumps, we can jump next to fire to make us move really quickly, but obviously we won't be doing that. So we finally managed to make it all the way to the courtyard, which is really impressive, and this is where it gets really really interesting. How did he manage that? Let's have a closer look. There's clearly a gap there and you're supposed to jump over the gap. But there is actually a small path we can take to avoid jumping. This is a small hitbox we can use. If it wasn't for this trick, the challenge would be over because the only way across is a full jump. This bit is tricky. We can either jump there and fail the challenge, but we can jump and make it to that ladder over there. And because we change our stance when we land on the ladder, it is not a full jump. That was a drop, not to jump. Looks like that's the furthest we can make it in the game. That was an illegal jump. But let's investigate and carry on to see if we can make it any further. Alright, 
right, so I actually get stuck here. Let's jump right here. Can we drop down? No. So it looks like this is the next dead end, if you like. We can't make it any further than this. And I've tried everything here. So I've even tried sort of jumping late and not at the very edge. So you can hang on the on the other piece here and it looks like it doesn't work so this is the furthest <laughs>